And let me give you a little bonus tip as well. This is actually quite a big tip. With your internet, right? Please, what I do is I use. Hola, ¿qué tal, mis amigos? Yo, listen, I'm back. In this video, I'm going to show you all the important do's and don'ts if you're wanting to create the perfect gaming laptop setup. Because I'm telling you, there's some things in there that I did before and they actually wrecked my laptop. So I don't want that to happen to you. So stay tuned for those towards the end of the video. But also, first, I want to look at 50 of the worst ever 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 gaming setups of all time i feel like there's some in here that are actually crazy that you can't even play the games in it so yeah let's get straight into it okay here we go i lied to you these are 10 of the worst not 50 not 50 50 is stupid the worst gaming setups on all of the internet okay recycling hoarder so listen guys i, I don't know if you know about this so there's a thing in america there's a guy I know, and he collects loads of canned drinks. And these canned drinks, right, he just stacks them up. Once he's drunk the drink, he stacks them up, and then he sends them to this recycling thing, and they give him money for that. This shouldn't be in the list of gaming setup. It's not a gaming setup. It's it's a recycling skip. One's man trash is another man's bedroom. Okay, fair enough. There's a nice gaming chair. But the monitor is from 1998. Ignore that. And then you got this. So you know what? <laughs> when they finish eating that food, do you know where that food's going? Surely you know where it's going. Next bit of food. Uh, okay, three. Energy crisis. What the flip? It looks like a bomb just dropped. How are you even going to use that keyboard? Oh my god. Four. Wish you were beer. What is this? I'm, I'm skipping right through. Trash can toilet. Hold on. Okay. Let's give this one some light, right? It's got a desk. It's got the monitor on there. It's got the chair. Yeah, just a plank of wood. Heinz ketchup. To be fair, this one is actually okay. I will give this one a pass. Six. Storage war. No chair? You're just going to stand and play. And there's a fan on the floor. I don't get this. Bathing in the glory. This is giving good vibes. I can't lie to you. That bath looks nice and warm. You've got the drink on the side. You've got the Nintendo DS there. Computer there, you can play the DS, you got a stream up on the on the computer. Do you know what that's missing? It's missing a pillow. Could you imagine a pillow right on the backrest and then you just get oh that would be so nice. But this one, this one's a pass. I like this one. Alright, eight body of evidence. It's just a bit complicated in my opinion, so we'll have to pass on this one as well. As a mattress of facts, why is the keyboard so high up? like bro um this one is a no for me and last one tub gaming the thing with this one right that i'll fault the other one you had like a computer directly in front of you this one you have to break your neck why are you using a blanket in a bath as well what for me the best setup has to be bathing in the glory bathing in the glory is actually a top tier setup i don't know about you let me know what you think the best setup here is okay guys i wanted to just share something with you real quick I don't know if you guys in the UK might know who DJ AG is. If you don't know who he is, he's an online DJ. I was on this platform like a couple of weeks ago. And when I was on this platform, the thing got posted and I got a lot of love. People like, oh, you're so cool. Love your type of music. Love your style. But do you know the amount of trolls was crazy? People were like, you shouldn't be doing this type of music. Why are you dressing like that? I'm like, if you're a troll, I got mad love for you. I love you because at the end of the day, in life, we have opinions, and it's it's normal to judge people. But in my opinion, I feel like judging people on the wrong things, like what people wear in their skin color, that, that shouldn't really matter. But the other thing, the funny thing is, the song that I performed is my new song, my new release. And I go on there, I start performing the song, and AG cuts the song short, like halfway through the song. I'm like, what the hell? It is surprising the type of music I'm doing. When you hear me speak and you hear the music, you're like, oh. Let me play you a quick clip so you know what I'm on about. But I know that it's gonna go down. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can give me that. Mm -hmm. When you move like that, it's like way, 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 I'd say listen to the first 30 seconds because that clip I just played you doesn't really show you what I was talking about. First 30 seconds, you'll be like, oh, is that what he means? Okay, so now I want to give you some tips of do's and don'ts if you're looking to create the best laptop gaming setup. So my first piece of advice for you, if you haven't already got a gaming laptop, invest in a powerful laptop that can handle strong CPUs and GPUs. Because if you have like a laptop like a Dell 
or a Mac even. Those type of laptops, those are really work laptops and they're not really good with handling a lot of information processing. If you're looking to download loads of games, it's not going to be ideal. I'm not saying you can't, but invest in the powerful gaming laptops such as the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i Generation 9. I recommend that. Also, the Asus ROG Zephyrus G14 is also a really powerful laptop. Anything that can just handle all of that information. Our second tip for you, ensure that you have comfort when you're playing your games. Make sure your desk is in a nice place, your mouse is in a good place, your keyboard is comfortable, you've got a drink, you've got your phone next to you and make sure you're like not overheated yourself because I'm telling you, when I'm sweating in games, Right, the last thing is you want to be in like a really hot room and you've got no ventilation whatsoever. But one thing, when I used to play games, I used to play on my bed a lot and I'd have the TV kind of in front of me and I'd just be kind of on my bed and I wouldn't have any back support. I know I'm sounding like a, a 60 year old saying I, I didn't have any back support, but it was important because I used to like play for like a couple of hours, a few hours and I'd be like trying to stretch my back because I didn't have enough support. So you don't have to fork out a lot for like an expensive gaming chair, just something that you feel is comfortable good armrests, looks good aesthetically in your room, something like that. My third tip for you is that you make sure you use as many parts as possible from the same compatibility device. So when I'm talking about that, say you have a MacBook, right? I'm not saying you should be using MacBook to game, but say just as an example for you, if you have a MacBook, make sure that you use a MacBook charger rather than any generic USB-C charger. Because I've noticed I have a Mac, but not for gaming, but I have a Mac. And what I notice is using random cables has caused my battery lifespan on my Mac to basically go down so fast. I'll be using my Mac, it's at 100% after an hour, it's on 10%. And that's because I've used so many different cables and it's caused the battery lifespan to basically deplete. And it's at a point where you kind of just need to keep the laptop on the charger at all times. My final tip for you is ensure that you make sure that you keep your device's cool at all times. So example, for your gaming laptop, equip it with cooling pads underneath the laptop. You place it underneath the laptop just for better heat management because if your laptop's overheating, it causes everything to start lagging, run slowly. And the worst part is that the more that you keep letting your fan overheat in your laptop, it causes the battery to also deplete faster. One thing that ain't gonna be cool though is my hands. I'm playing games, I'm sweaty as hell. And let me give you a little bonus tip as well. This is actually quite a big tip. With your internet, right, please, what I do is I use an ethernet cable, connect an ethernet cable and connect that to your laptop. That's gonna run the Wi-Fi router directly into your laptop and it's gonna give you the fastest speed possible for your laptop and for your game. Okay, so here are some don'ts that you shouldn't do. My first tip is that you shouldn't use external GPUs or CPUs with an underpowered laptop. Reason why? Desktop and laptop components are designed very differently. And the hardware designed for PCs is supposed to go together because it's a lot more powerful. But if you then use that desktop PC GPU and use it as an external GPU for a laptop that's not gonna run at the same speed as a PC would, the processor isn't gonna be able to process all of that. It's too much for that laptop and it could cause your laptop a lot of damage. Okay, so my second don't for you is this isn't really a must must, but don't forget to get a large monitor just for a better gaming experience. You're not gonna wanna play it on some measly little laptop gaming screen. I mean, listen, if you wanna do that, that's cool. I like playing games in general, so any screen, I'll be there. But I'd recommend you just get like an 18 inch TV or something, they're pretty cheap. You can get one pretty cheap on Amazon or something. Get one of those, connect it up, and you can actually have a nice like proper gaming experience you don't have to feel like you're you're hacking some system or something my third thing for you is don't rely on external components to make up for a weak laptop performance so external components won't actually make your laptop speed increase it's actually going to do the opposite it's going to slow down your laptop because your laptop's trying to process all of these things your game your usb connection for maybe your headphones or something all of that put together is a lot for the laptop to process so then when you add these external components and you think it's going to increase the speed of the laptop and its performance it's not it's basically too much for the laptop it's going to make your laptop go slower your game's probably going to start lagging and it's just going to be a mess your laptop's going to bust so don't do that and the last tip for you a fourth tip is that it's pretty simple just don't be a dummy and buy a 4k monitor and your laptop doesn't support 4k one thing though with your monitor do make sure that your monitor does support sound. I once bought a monitor on Amazon. It was about 50 pounds or something, $50. I get this, this monitor arrived and I like, I connect it up. I'm like, okay, where's the sound? There's a remote, no sound in it. I look for the headphone port in the TV, nothing, no sound. 
it was like some monitor that people use in like hospitals and stuff just to d display images so please i'm telling you make sure that you check your monitors properly yeah i hope all of these tips help you if you're looking to create your laptop gaming setup and i look forward to seeing you in the next one as always guys love you lots te quiero hasta luego